Engineering, I'm Alan. Today I'm making a swivel joint. In this case it's used for the cable connection to the rotary head. This is what it looks like. Uh, in this end there's a, a socket. The wires come out on the bottom. This will go into the base of the rotary head and bolt in from underneath. And then this will swivel 180 degrees on the top and 360 degrees round so I can connect the cable to the rotary head without the cable coming near the cutting tool or any coolant. This can also be used for a, a small lamp and I'm thinking about modifying the lamp on the milling machine which is on some sort of flexible cable which never works because when you move the lamp into a certain position after a few minutes it's gone back to where it likes to be pointing at the floor. So this would make a nice unit for fitting a lamp on here. This bolts onto the milling machine. You could turn it round, up and down. If you add a double spherical on it, you have more joints to move and it would probably be better. So that's a possibility for the future. So let's go into the workshop and see how we make this. So it's just starting to go in. I'll take a couple more light cuts. That's the final thread, it's a bit loose, I think it's because it's on a casting, it goes in and locks up against the face, that's all I need, it's, it's solid when it's in there. Now I've moved it out of the chuck a little bit so I can start to work on this. What I'm doing here, I'm reducing this diameter down from 20mm down to about 16 and then on this end I'm going to form a spherical. Twelve I'll take this out of the chuck, I'll saw this off here and then put my collet on. And I think I'll have to do this in two goes because I'll form this side first and see if I can form the other side in the chuck. Put it back in the thread your chuck and all I'm doing now is cutting this piece off.
centre drill. By placing a 3mm rod through the hole, you can set the hole vertical, ready for milling. So what I've done now is I've used the 3mm hole to line up my chuck. Now I'm going to drill that out to 5mm for clearance on the cathode. Let me explain what I've done. I've taken the piece we made of the spherical which we halved. I've put a piece of aluminium in the chuck, drilled and threaded the aluminium in the chuck and then using a cap head I fitted the spherical part onto the aluminium. See? Now to stop it if it hits anything to stop it twisting this part is just touching the chuck so it's not going to revolve what I'm doing is machining as you can see on this part here I'm just machining a diameter internal diameter there so that the spherical of the next part will miss The tool I'm using, it's just an old piece of tool steel that's 
somebody before me has um, sharpened up to make a very crude cutting tool but it's the only tool I could find that would actually fit in the gap between the cap head and the diameter I'm turning. You can see there that diameter is virtually done. It's just broke into the 8mm hole that's in the middle. So that's okay. So the wires will come through that hole. So what I want to do now is come in, touch the face and then just come out to that diameter. You can see this face now is cleaned. We've got the hole coming through for the wires. I've just changed the tool for one that can go between the, the gap of the cap head and the diameter I've just machined, the bore. So I can go in there and all I want to do is put a, a groove around the diameter so that the cable will lie in there. Take that out. And you can see how this is held. In the chuck on the lathe, they just put an aluminium bar, machined and tapped a hole, five mil hole in the end, and then just put a recess so that it locates on the dome. bolted it in with the cap head and then made sure that the edge just touched the jaw so that it won't spin. You can see there the recess, the hole is coming through for the cable to come through which needs to be a little bit deeper so that it breaks into this recess. You can see now I've opened the hole up and it comes into the groove I've just machined so the wires can travel around the centre
Okay, that's the part that we've just made. So if I hold, hold it in the end of the chuck, I should be able to get the thread on there and drill a hole through. the half sphere again and what I'm doing now is put the groove back in turn the diameter This is the part that's nearly finished. I'll just unscrew it. You can see on this part, I've gone in with an end mill and reduced it from the inside to take away some of the stock and give more space for the wires. When that's bolted onto the top, with the cap head the two halves are put together it will swivel here the wires are coming through and the sockets fitted in the end so I can't do any more on this now until I get the front plate finished when I can bolt this to the front plate and fit the socket on the other end well, that's it for today. I hope that was interesting and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering.